Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Sinister Talker here for a video. In this video right here, I hit up some sponsors around town. Check out this place first called Halloween City. It's a little costume shop. Never heard of it. I'm gonna go check that out. It's right next to Toy City. It used to be a Toys R Us. So now it's this. Go check that out. Then this video, look out for some cool movie reviews. And then this video, so check that out right there. Let's get on to the video at hand. I've been around and I've seen this here next to this place called Toy City. Is it part of Party City? I don't know. But I do know this is a Toys R Us. Well, I mean, it used to be a Toys R Us back when. It's just the same one I went to. My video made about Toys R Us closing up some months ago. So let's go in here to see how this looks. As a former Toys R Us now turned Halloween City. It's to be Toys R Us registers. And now they're just like marked with these. And let's go through here. It's kind of strange because like there's toys over here. You can see there might, might be like cheapy toys, like some cheapo toys. We get some pops, and it's like mixed in with like a Halloween shop. So is it only seasonal for like Halloween? And will this still be here also when Halloween's done? I don't know. Definitely curious about it though. Um, which side should I go on first? Well, you know what? Let's just go to the Halloween side first. It's pretty rad. Check this out. It's all spinning and stuff. Definitely like how that looks. That's pretty cool. So definitely some. Pretty cool stuff. I've not seen at the other like you no know, spirit Halloween shop and things like that. So hopefully I get some different stuff in here than the, than those ones. That'd be kind of cool. Those are kind of like blood candy blood bag liquid cherry flavor. Check these out. Did you drink these? Check this out. Like little the jigsaw dude you know from Saw. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool from the nun with Michael Myers, Jason. Oh, the Exorcist one. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Little oh, Annabelle. That's a pretty cool bunch of shapes next to me. Check it out. A bunch of Michael Myers shapes masks. Look at them all. They're all, all surrounded by me. And the Curse of Michael Myers. Look at that. I haven't seen one of those in a while from that one. That's kind of cool. And you get this like kind of like generic one with like the rubber hair. I never liked these ones. These always crack me up. And you get this. This one's like really bad. The one with like no hair. This has the back like that it's kind of weird but this one's even worse this is the plastic mask this one's okay I wish I had like the newer ones here from the uh, new one coming out actually it's coming out day before my birthday oh yes yeah, comes out the 19th my birthday is the 20th uh, some more information about that towards the end about my birthday what I'm gonna be, what kind of stuff I'll be doing it's kind of cool this thing what's this whoa whoa they all popped up that's pretty I like this I think it's kind of cool I have to get that for the new house I definitely like how that really is. These things. I always love this stuff. Whoa, look at all these goodies. Oh, damn. Some lots of cool stuff in this Halloween place. Halloween City. Really, really rad. I still don't even know what I'm gonna be for Halloween. Yeah, I'm still deciding. I have a couple ideas. I'm still thinking about it. I hope I, I hope I don't become last minute. I usually always am. Hope I'm not. Ugh. But I'm gonna check out Toy City and see how that is. All right, so now I'm going to Toy City. I like how you have like the Exorcist music in the background. You can hear it as I enter the toy shop area. It's kind of funny, like odd and stuff. This is kind of cool. Like you go through here, like the toy area, and you have like this like Exorcist kind of music in the background. <laughs> this just kind of cracks me up. Looks like just your regular like toys. Maybe it's like stuff that was left over from Toys R Us they bought. And just forget they'll sell it like, you know, they bought wholesale and they'll sell it over here. Maybe stuff that was in the back to make an extra buck or something. That's probably what these are, I'm thinking. I just left Halloween City slash Toy City with the sun in my face now. Uh oh, can't see. You know, off to somewhere else. All right, next spot of the day. Check out the local book off here. See if they have anything cool in there. It's about a print titles for my man Fluffy Gamer gets me. Always gets me, always get him, dude, but it's okay. I'm gonna go in there and check it out. Before I go in there, check out my movie reviews right now. Two titles from Umbrella Entertainment, and also one title from Olive Films. Let me get down to the Umbrella Entertainment movies right now. They're a really cool company from Australia. I just got some stuff uh, you know, sent to me to review. Really cool company, check them out. Most, if not all their movies, or pretty much most of their movies are all region free. You have the region uh, codes on, but they're region free. They play my Blu-ray player just fine. They play a lot of cool, obscure, like Aussie Australian type Aussie exploitation movies. And like, like they put out Razorback. They got Next to Kin coming out this month. Look out for that. 
Probably a lot of cool, obscure titles, horror titles, cool action flicks, and that kind of thing. But let me get down to it right now, the ones I get to check out. First up here is a made-for-TV movie in America. It was really hard to sought after to find. It's now released on DVD uh, for the first time, I believe, in a long time. I think it only came out like once before. And it was really expensive. This one, To Catch a Killer, starring Brian Dennehy as John Wayne Gacy, the infamous John Wayne Gacy serial killer. They killed a bunch of boys. Buried him in his house, like I think like over 30 and that kind of thing. And he was, he was on the loose for a long time until the cops got him. He never admitted to the killings, even to his death, never did. But this is a really interesting uh, made for TV movie, made up even like 97. Also stars Margot Kidder in this thing. Really great movie, two part movie. It's like three hours long, but really great performances by Brian Dennehy in this dark tale of murder and you know, cat and mouse game with him and the cops. And that kind of thing. It's a really interesting, great made for TV. One of the best made for TV movies I've ever seen in my life is this one. Definitely a top fiver made for TV movies, in my opinion, is this. To Catch a Killer. A great cover art. Here's the back of it up here. Right over there. Normally no extras. You get like a, a trailer for it. Like a made for TV, you know, a TV trailer for it you have. That's about it. But really good stuff. Um, it's full screen. You know, it was made for TV back in the day. But nice cleaned up job. Good sound, good, you know, good audio. Great acting. Look at that cover. Creepy. John Wayne Gacy. Um, it's a great job in this thing. This one's out right now. By Umbrella. Next up here, also by Umbrella, is this from the producers of Bob, uh, The Babadook uh, Comes Cargo. Really cool Australian uh, horror thriller flick is this one. It has this guy. Is the guy right there in the cover. Him and his wife. It's like this. They're in Australia. But it's like it's all infected with like this zombie type illness. So they're on a houseboat on a lake. And then the infection gets to his wife and gets to him. He has a daughter, which is right up there, and they're infected and stuff. And so they have like two days before the infection takes a hold of them and become like these crazy, murderous, monstrous, zombie-type creatures. And um, in doing so, he's on it. He has to leave the house, but leaves his wife there behind to find a protector for his daughter before, because when it's become infected, no one will protect the daughter, and she will die because she's like a little baby, you know. So she, so he's on a mission to find someone to uh, give the daughter to before he becomes totally infected with this crazy illness and this interesting cool horror type thriller movie is cargo really well done good music in this thing good scope good landscape good atmosphere is this I had no idea what to expect but a really well-made movie is cargo you got some features of it right there trailer some behind the scenes and that kind of deal up there really well made um yeah definitely a good one is cargo right here and uh, last but not least from umbrella entertainment is this cool interesting cult classic um, you can sure I get the title right. It's a long one. Spirits of the Air Gremlins of the Clouds in this post-apocalyptic time made in Australia. Directed by Rice Davis. He also did Dead and Driving. Is this one. And some other bunch of other movies too. Is this interesting, like I said, post-apocalyptic flick. It's like barren wasteland. And it's like a tripped out movie. Like, they eat like weird stuff. It's just tripped out. Kind of a, a, a cool... Like, but not like super cool, but depressing atmosphere, like a lot of dirt, dry. Just like this guy in his wheelchair, kind of a crazy dude, like a scientist type dude. He has this, these visions to escape out of there by uh, getting his, the, the people that are in this uh, little like uh, inhabited village where they stay at, this little house where they stay at. There's a few people staying there with him. So he must make like, this, this weird like gyro plane type thing to like escape out of this barren wasteland to a whole other land to find something better than what, where they're at right now. And it's tripped out. Cool flick I've never seen before, never really heard of it. When I saw it, I was like, this is a trippy movie that I read up more on. It's like a, definitely like a cult classic in Australia. Cool sought after film. Now we're on Blu ray for the first time. Here's the back of it right up here. You get all kinds of extras. I was watching these, you get a really cool behind the scenes, you know, retro vintage uh, vignette behind the scenes on, you know, interviews, commentary, you know, like I said, like really cool interviews with the actors. It looks great on Blu ray. Uh, interesting, cool flick. Is Next up here, science fiction, 50s classic. One of the best science fiction movies ever made is this one. It's great. All of, from all the films, all of signature line, Invasion of the Body Snatchers in Blu-ray. Looks fantastic on Blu-ray. Great classic is this one. Directed by Don Siegel, did, did, uh, Dirty Harry, starring Kevin McCarthy. He did a bunch of movies. He was also nominated for an Academy Award in Death of a Salesman. He's right there. In this movie, like this, this town in California, they get invaded by these aliens, like these plant-based alien pod people things. And they impersonate humans. And they're not really sure like what's going on, like who's who. 
as tripped out, like, you know, uh, alien take uh, an invasion movie as this one. Where they take the human bodies, snatch them up, and trade them off with, like, these alien clone type things. There's load up with a bunch of extras I'll show you right now. You get, like, some loaded up stuff. You have, like, behind the scenes, new interviews, commentary. Um, it's just loaded up right there with all kinds of goodies. We're right, all done now with my Blu-rays and DVD and all that kind of deal. Links down below, like I said before, with these companies that we get these titles and more. Now back to the rest of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my movie reviews. Now we'll enter thy book off. This thing, this Universal Official Monsters, like the Mummy, it looks like really like weird. It's from like it looks like it's from like '91 or something. Like that. It's got to be from like that. It has the date on it. It's like almost looks like a like a knockoff or something, but it's not. Now up to the Blu-ray area, may I find some horror movies or some out of prints? I'm hoping Necromantic here um, for sale. That's kind of funny. Cool movie. It's kind of funny. It's a book off. Someone get rid of this? How dare they get rid of that? What the heck? There's some pretty good stuff. Good Ninja Three. Get some good, you know, cheese. Good stuff right there from uh, Scream Factory line. Night of the Demons. So someone must have like unloaded their horror collection. I'm thinking and sold it here. I'm sure some Scream stuff, Scream Factory stuff. I mean, it's a Vesteron series with Choppy Mall here for 25. I think that's about what it goes for. That's kind of, man. Someone definitely unloaded the horror collection. They had to. Right, so I left Book Off over here. I didn't get anything. I've got some pretty cool titles and stuff I already had. I looked around some more. There's just nothing really much I wanted to get. Anyway, that'll do it for this video right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Make sure you get those titles if you want to get those. If you want to talk about from Umbrella Entertainment and all the films, link down below for those movie companies if you want to get some more stuff and more. And also, like I said, my birthday is the 20th, the day after the new Halloween comes out. I'll be doing like a little, you know, open invitation on the uh, 9 p.m. Saturday night in San Diego, a coin op in downtown Gaslamp. It's a cool barcade, retro games beers, drinks, some fun time. So if you guys want to check it out, 9 p.m. coin op, San Diego, the 20th on Saturday night. I put a little, put a little invitation on my Facebook too about it. So if you want to check it out, it should be cool. I got my man, if you want to be there, Fluffy Gamer, my girlfriend, of course, Deanna will be there too. Whoever else will be there along with me and you guys want to come and hang out with us, we'll be right there drinking, up, celebrating, becoming a year older. Oh yes. Yeah. So yeah, so there you go right there. So if you guys enjoyed that, if you guys want to check it out, go to it. Be open invitation. I'll catch you guys later on the next video.